Hey, it's Miss Brits of the Appleton West Library, and I am book talking a mystery suspense thriller. So there is a disappearance, which turns out to be a murder, and um, our main character is, well, some people think she's a suspect, um, but it's not like she's actively trying to solve the mystery. I think she wants to solve it, but she's not like so. That's where, like, I'm like mystery I think of where our characters are actively trying to solve. It's definitely a mystery, but it's also a suspense thriller, like, you know, it keeps you, keeps you going. So it's called Creeping Little Things, and the author is Chelsea Icaso. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, she's got another one that's on my list of things to read, something about dead girls don't tell or something like that. So our main character, Cassidy, it starts out where she's being bullied and she's being bullied uh they call her fire girl because when she was younger um her father had built her this really elaborate um playhouse out in the back in a tree and she and her friend were in this playhouse and they were having a little tea party they decided to add a candle to it well the candle starts a fire and the play the friend dies and Cassidy is alive and so there's always been this question of did Cassidy a lot, a lot of people in town it's a small town thing Cassidy started the fire you know and uh, so she's had to live, deal with this her entire life you know she doesn't have a lot of friends um, Giddy Gideon is her best friend um, and but at the very beginning she's being bullied and she and Gideon meet in this place in the so they her house is really near like a forested area and uh so they meet in this place where they've kind of created what they call their own hobbit hole um and because they're hidden away they overhear this conversation with the girl who bullies chelsea and that girl um chelsea hears her scream and then nothing and chelsea's like just trying to hide because she doesn't want this girl to know she's here well then this girl is missed they find out you know, Chelsea thinks something happened to this girl when then they're not sure because somebody posts something on Facebook or Instagram and later on like, oh, she's missing and they're searching. So they do find the body and then there's the who done it, you know, like they go through all the people that didn't that Melody didn't like Melody, which can be a long list because Melody kinda is the chief bully in the town. Um, you know, and Cassidy's worried about herself becoming um, a target of the police investigation, uh, but she also, in some ways, tries to help the police, but she's not always, you know, very, she kind of does things, or actually wouldn't be the right word, but she, like, she becomes convinced that so-and-so did it, but she doesn't really have a lot of evidence necessarily, or she has a little bit of evidence that doesn't necessarily prove anything. So there is a lot of mystery and suspense to this. Um, the doll on this actually comes up and Cassidy has these dreams of the doll and I don't know if it's because the original fire and stuff like that. Um, it was, a, it was a pretty good mystery. I liked it. Um, I definitely, like, I, I didn't want to put it down. I didn't want to stop reading. Um, so I would have to say that's pretty good. I did have to say, I guessed who <laughs> the bad person was. Um, you know, and like I said, if you've read enough mysteries, it gets easier to guess because you're like, hmm, it has to be somebody we want to know. <laughs> and it has to be a character we've heard about and probably somebody you don't suspect. <laughs> so, um, like I said, it was a good mystery. It kept me going. Um, there were a lot of twists and turns where Cassidy or, or the police think it's one person or this person or that person. So they're kind of going back and forth between the different people. And there's different evidence that's found and Cassidy's concerned about, you know, like, like I said, she's concerned about her own situation and all of this. So I really did enjoy this. And it's enough, like I said, that I actually want to read other books by this author. So whenever I want to read another book by that author, I must have liked the book that I've read. Um, so if you're into mysteries, don't be freaked out by the doll face, because I always think this is a horror book, little creeping things. Yeah, it looks like a horror book. It's not a horror book. It is definitely a mystery, suspense, thriller type thing, trying to keep you on the edge of your seat the whole time and keep you interested in reading right up till the end, which 
it pretty much did for me. So I really did enjoy it this during the long break. So I hope if you're interested in mystery, we ha I have some good suggestions for you. You may want to come in and check them out. Um, or I can help you find somebody else, something else, because <laughs> it's my job to keep everybody reading. Bye.